Hey everybody, so yeah, I guess the uh, the warmth of September has arrived. It's uh, really hot and extremely humid. It's been raining like, well, almost all day to uh, yesterday. Uh, well, not all day, because I was I had time to uh, clean out the alley garden. Let me just get there, don't mind the mess. I've been collecting uh, um, driftwood. <laughs> For some project later on look at those big chunk of driftwood yeah pretty happy about those anyway so i've harvested i've not harvested i've um i guess taken out all the weeds and all the stuff that was growing here uh the only thing that was good was a few leeks and uh, some uh, savory which i'm gonna let go to seed so i can collect the seeds um and you know what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna be planting some uh, herbal stuff like mint, uh, probably savory. It's in, so it's already growing here. Um, there's cookie. Uh, yeah, mint, probably um, chamomile, and you know a whole lot of uh, little herbal plants. And you know I was doing some uh, some searching on the internet last last night, and I found out that I already have a well quite a few um, herbal tea, I guess, plants growing here. Of course, uh, you know my mint that I harvested right there. Um, I also have basil in the greenhouse. Uh, a little bit further back, I got a, a pretty big uh, rose bush, which apparently you can eat these little uh, rose hips, I think they're called. Maybe not this one because it's kind of all mushy. Uh, but you know, like beautiful, strong one like this. Uh, apparently you cut them in half and you can make some tea and contains vitamin C. I also got some bushes there and some more behind the apple tree apple trees. What else? I got lavender. I got cone flowers. Uh, I got bee balm there and I got a whole lot there which got kind of uh, overgrown this year. Um, what else? I think that's it for now. For now. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have some fun with that, I think. Well, I won't go, uh, I guess, over again with the mint. <laughs> but, you know, you've seen me uh, cut it. And this time, I'm not cutting the leaves. I'm cutting the whole stem. I'll cut the leaves later on because I want the stem to, uh, I guess, make me some new leaf plants. And, yes, this is the same mint I harvested, uh, what, a few weeks ago. And as you can see started sprouting whole new little branches everywhere <laughs> look at that those are all new little branches and Goki's choking on crabgrass all right and if for some reason you guys doubt me this is the mint I had uh, put in the little pot well you know last time when I made my mint video and look pretty sure yeah baby <laughs> Look at that. Could already be planted. No, I'm gonna wait a little bit because, well, first of all, my garden spot over there isn't ready. Second of all, well, maybe not all the um, the mint is. Let me just get the camera. Has a lot of um, roots growing, so you know, maybe a week. Yeah, probably I'm gonna be waiting a week because uh, I'm really anxious to uh, start sowing it over there. And anyway, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit crazy, I think. Yeah, you see that? I got a, I guess a hornet's nest in my, uh, oh man, it's a big one. Yeah, I'm gonna try and spray them. Maybe I'm gonna have to bring the exterminator. Anyway, uh, just zoom on that planted my thyme. This is creeping thyme. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, like that's a uh, walking place. I made little humps like that. <laughs> and you know the first plant is gonna be creeping thyme. And afterwards we'll see. I'm just starting with thyme because that's what I got. Uh, man is it hot. <laughs> so yeah I got a good uh, nine rows of thyme. Here I'm not sure what I'm gonna put. Maybe mint. Probably mint. Oh yeah, and I put the um, you know a lining of a uh, newspaper to try and block the uh, the grass from getting in. <laughs> hey, cone flowers! Uh, apparently, they're super good for your uh, immune system. Um, they can help boost it up. 
uh, shouldn't be taking them though uh, more than 10 days in a row apparently and maybe people with allergies may not find it uh, useful because their immune system is already boosted up anyway can cut well you can use the whole plants uh, but you know I want to keep the flowers for the bee and of course for my enjoyment so I'm just gonna harvest a few leaves uh, dry them up and um, yeah you know come uh, maybe flu season well I'm gonna be uh, using it maybe uh, yeah a week or two there you go there's a delay with the camera <laughs> and you know to try uh, not catch the flu and I guess finally for today my little rose hip um, yeah cut them in half <laughs> like that cut off the uh, I guess the ugly part and you know the inside is filled with seeds and since we had a lot of rain well they're really like juicy uh, what else you can also make some uh, I guess rose um, rose tasting uh, tea with the uh, rose petal of course um, you know, some in some cultures they actually cook with the rose water. Uh, yeah, and I guess that's it for uh, a little. Uh, I'll just go get something else here. The bee balm. Uh, apparently, bee balm. Well, there's not much, you know, known about it. Um, as well, as far as uh, virtues, but a lot of people say it's good to eat, to uh, drink as a tea. Um, it smells like savory or maybe sage mmm smells good anyway uh, yeah you can use that you can even mix that in some of your teas even if it's just for the the little sage or savory taste it can add hey, look at that <laughs> where is it there there's a party on that branch spider a fly and where is it well there was a ladybug but it's gone Oh yeah, I got my cone flowers, or uh, I'm not sure if you see it in English, but in French we call it echinacea. I guess it's the echinacea, whatever, <laughs> cone flower for the commoner. Uh, roses, bee balm, and of course, a big plate of uh, mint. So, uh, oh yeah, one thing that's pretty hefty uh, when you're doing this is a uh, salad tosser like that. <clears throat> you can clean them, rinse them, and dry them a bit. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be uh, developing into a full-grown obsession eventually. And who knows, I might even be able to sell some eventually. Anyway, so see you everybody and uh, yeah, have a great week.